What's up guys, Brendan here, and uh, this tutorial is going to show you how to get the best rendering settings uh, in Sony Vegas. Um, I uploaded a video on this before, but I just took that down because I felt like I didn't explain everything uh, the way I should. So, um, I'm making a new video. Uh, this tutorial is pretty quick, so just make sure you're following along. Um, so, let's get into it. Uh, open up a clip, any clip you want. I'm just going to put in a leftover old old leftover um, what you're gonna do you're gonna go to properties uh, you're gonna click that and you're gonna click this icon that says match media video settings you're gonna click on that and then click on the clip that you want to run there right and open up that and that's gonna um, uh, bring up all your stats and uh, everything on your raw video clip that you recorded which should already be 59.94 um, FPS, but um, I don't know what you're recording with. But if you're recording with like a HD PVR, it should be like high quality. So you're gonna after you do that, click um, apply and OK. But if you don't want to do this every single time, like go through this process, you can do start all new projects with these settings. Click apply and then OK. Um, and that's really it for that part. Then you're gonna right click, go to properties disable resample um, that disables all ghosting and a weird like movement in your video and uh, that's really it for that part um, so now you're ready to render and this is where this is like the most important part so when you click render as as you can see I already have it saved as best rendering settings um, you're gonna go down to Windows Media Video and you're gonna click on the 8 uh, MBPS HD 1080p uh, video. You're gonna click on this right here, and you're gonna click Customize Template. Um, you're not gonna mess with the audio, but you're gonna go to Video, and you're gonna change this. You're gonna slide this bar all the way up to 100. Uh, you're gonna change the aspect ratio to square. You're gonna click on Format. No, my bad, not Format. Image size. You're gonna go to Custom, and you're gonna change the width to 1920. And uh, make sure it's 1920 by 1080p, or 1080. <clears throat> and then go to frame rate, and then click 59.94. Um, uh, that's really all you need. And then after that, go to bit rate, change this to 10 million, and then go to project, and then go to video rendering quality, and click best. And that's basically it. Um, but then you can rename this template that you just made. And click like as I did. I did uh, best rendering settings. After that, you click save, and then uh, I already saved it and everything. And then it's gonna pop up right beneath this. And uh, I favorited it. And um, this is easy if you want to get to it fast, so you don't have to scroll all the way down and go to it. You can just start it and then click up here, show favorites only. So when you go to render, it's right here, and you can click that every time. Um, so yeah, guys, and you're ready to render. Um, make sure to leave a like if this video helped you, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, give me feedback, share the video. Um, sorry if my voice was sounding off today, uh, I'm sick right now, so, yeah. And, um, that's it guys, so make sure to subscribe, leave a like, comment, all that, and yeah. Always on my ground, never taking half days I'm only burning the fire